a new day, a new test, a new project. Just got my multifunctional USB safety tester. Oh my God, it sounds very <laughs> GPL and NASA. Voltmeter, ammeter, capacity meter, energy meter, whatever. And however, I promised that I'm gonna have a test about this uh, battery bank. That's a Supreme 20 from Hama and uh, they say here output USB-A 5 volts 3 amps output USB-A 2 5 volts 3 amps they also say input USB-C 9 volts with 2 amps the micro USB 5 volts 2 amps total output 5 volts 3 amps let's check these guys USB-C 3 amps and the both USB A, one, two, and this one for delivering three amps. I got perfect USB to USB C cable. Got no power there. And I have my phone. So, two amps. Okay, here I have a Samsung S21. Same story, 185, not more. Okay, let's try the USB A port. Let's see here. Two hours to 39 minutes to complete load with my Samsung. So it's very clear. We don't have a fast charging from USB to USB C port. No way. But what about my phone? Okay. USB-C and Huawei P14. Have a nice weekend. Thank you very much. And look here, guys. My phone is sucking two amps, but not the Samsung. <laughs> Once more for the Samsung. It's something about the cable. Yes, maybe there is no communication between this charger and the battery bank, probably. Okay, let's have this screen. It's better. Oh yeah, let me reset everything. So do we have 048 amps USB-C with a USB-C type of cable to a USB-C phone from Samsung, but not Huawei. Huawei it's taking two amps. Now we have a USB output to USB-C connection. Right, less capacity around one amp even okay what about usb-c to usb to usb-c do we got anything here nothing so the usb-c is not triggered it's not starting no way what's funny because if i'm connecting this directly oh yeah but of course let me see if i connect the USB-C cable to my USB-C port. It should work instantly and it's working. But when I connect USB-C to this guy and USB out to USB-C connector, nothing happens. Okay, let me see the Samsung, same story. That doesn't mean I can't use this directly. Of course I can, but the tester this multimeter it's not delivering without having the signals from the phone okay again usb-c to usb-c and of course we got two amps of charging very good not bad two amps this is a perfect number usb-a only four okay no it's going up to two amps too okay nice so it's delivering two amps you know the problem is that I'm not sure they are saying here that USB-C it should go up to 3 amps. I'm not sure how much my phone or Samsung it's able to afford. Let me have some other kind of experiments. You see here I have a genetic charger. Okay, they say 1.5 amps USB-A. I have one with 3 amps going up to 6 0.5 to 9 volts 
2 amps. Go, going up to 12 volts, 1.5 amps. Okay, let's see that. So, now, the charger, supposedly 3 amps, it's charging up to 9.2 volts and charging with 440 milliamps, 4.01 watts. But no way of charging with 3 amps. But in fact, it's charging the phone now. Let me see if I connect this to my power bank, what's happening? Look there, 525 volts. Now it's connected USB-C to USB-C to Hama power bank. And we have almost two amps, 1.87 at 5.26 volts, but not more than five volts. But anyway, the, the general power went up to 9.8 watts. That's the input. So now I'm charging the power bank, okay? Now I'm connecting the Samsung phone to the charger. Let's see the numbers. Interesting, 2.23 watts. It's even less than, uh, than uh, Huawei. So far, Huawei, it's really good energy demanding. Look there, 5.71 watts, 9 volts. So obviously the voltage went up. Okay, now if you don't mind, I'm gonna have an original Samsung charger. This one should give me by the book 12 volt with 1.5 amps. USB-C to Huawei numbers 0 0.6 amps 9.17 volts 12 watts that's a lot of power okay going up 1.33 amps at 9 volts wow it's really charging this is good and now let me have the Samsung S21 oh look there now we are talking it's charging 14.4 watts 1.5 five six amps nine zero eight volt yeah this i can call a fast nice okay very clear let's go back to hama let me do a crazy experiment let's have two phones through the tester no power this is good so i just plugged something here and i have four 2.97 amps at 4.94 so yes hama can deliver as they said three amps through the USB-C port. Very nice. Yeah. Yes, you can. What about the USB-C port? The other one was USB-A. Oh yeah, USB-C port. Hama, it's delivering three, almost three amps, like they promised. So now I have connected here a Huawei phone. That's a P40. And also my, my little oscilloscope uh, charging the internal battery. Yes, guys, Hama, it's delivering three amps. They promise that they are doing that. Let me try something else. You see, I have my laptop here and my laptop have USB-C port. Is it good for something? Is this charging anything? Can I use that to charge my phone? Connecting directly the USB port of my computer to the phone, nothing happens power on the laptop and we have a charging look there this is nice let's check the numbers welcome thank you 045 amps 2.2 watts 512 volts but at least it's charging so I can use that for charging the phone with a low rate what about the Samsung connected to my laptop? Oh, look there. That's amazing. The Samsung is taking 1.65 amps, 8.30. So Samsung, it's demanding much more power from the USB-C port. That's amazing. It's the other way around. <laughs> can you see the... Uh, can, can you see the... <laughs> irony and also here i have a 
usb d is this one the new standard the blue one let's check the numbers there too oh yes look there so now i'm charging my phone with 1.45 amps from the usb 3 port much better than before what about the samsung <laughs> this is funny now the samsung <laughs> don't want to charge high power anymore amazing usb port charging very well on samsung 165 amps and you know guys we are here so let me try some other test i'm connecting usb-c through this tester and to the power bank nothing happens i was just thinking about charging well but i'm not sure what's happening from the laptop going into the battery the power is coming from here going into the battery so now the laptop is providing charge to the battery nah yes not the other way around right same story from usb 3 but no charge let me try this guy usb out to usb c and something is it smoke i hope not what do you think about this so i got here going to the output yeah it's looking like it's charging the laptop via usb a to usb c a kind of charging yeah it's very clear you see probably do we have any power no so it seems like from USB-C I can charge the laptop with a very low current but it's better than nothing anyway okay guys that's the end of the experiment it's looking like Hama is delivering 3 amps we got that USB-A1 and USB-2 and also USB-C delivering 3 amps they promised that and it's working a little remark here so we have two USB-A ports each of them advertises for 3 amps I don't have something you know to put them to work together now but I don't think with uh, using both ports there is a 6 amp power supply or delivering 6 amps no I think it's 3 amps for each of them if you have uh, two phones let's say maybe that charged with uh, 1.5 amp each port but I'm gonna have some uh, some tests for that uh, as soon as I have uh, I don't know an, an idea of uh, how to to suck that from the power bank okay I hope it's useful guys please like subscribe and uh, don't forget have some fun bye bye